Hello and welcome to the Watch Kaki channel where we bring you all the good and honest watch reviews. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have new videos uploaded every week just for you. In today's video, we are going to take a very quick look at this pair of Seiko 5 watches. I've got both of them with me and we've got SNK621. They're from the same model or same series, if I may say so. And this is the SNK623 and this is the black dial version and this is the grey or anthracite dial version. But these two watches are on loan courtesy of our boutique and let me just share with you a quick story on how they came into the review desk. Well, I was talking to Eric the other day at our boutique and I was asking him, Eric, how can I make my weekends longer? Because Weekends are the only time that I can drop by our boutique and you know draw out some watches for loan and to film the review So, you know, he was telling me tongue-in-cheek that if you want a longer weekend Just take a look at this watch model here because the day wheels in these watches They don't have the shortened day. You no, know, it's not SUN or SAT For the weekends, they've got Sunday, they've got Saturday spelled out in full so this is how Eric would think this is how you would get a longer weekend. So I think what Seiko has done differently is that they have sort of used a new type of day wheel and then they've also separated the day and date windows. So let's take a look at another Seiko 5 watch I have with me here. This is the Sea Urchin and you can see the day disc is right next to the date disc. So this is a traditional layout for Seiko 5 watches but over here it's a bit different firstly they are on different windows they are different windows but the day disc here has the day spelled out in full and only because it doesn't have a bilingual day disc so let's just let me show you what i'm talking about when i say they have a different day wheel so this is the hand setting and if i pull out one notch you can see that here you can see that the day takes a slightly longer time to change I'm going to show you how it works here so you can see that it takes a slightly longer time to completely change to the next day wheel uh, typically you would change over at about 2 a.m. but this one here the change completes after 4 a.m. So I think it is only because of this that that's how Seiko is, in, uh, is able to put in a longer day window. So I've just zoomed in a little bit to talk about the specifications of this watch here. It is a really small watch, it's 37 millimeters case size. Thickness is 10.5 millimeters from the exhibition case back to the top of the flat Hardlex crystal. It's got a really unusual luck construction i would say this is sort of like the luckless or integrated luck design so you can't really put aftermarket straps on this one it has to stay on the stock bracelet this watch also has a very short uh, luck to luck the luck to luck on this watch is 44 millimeters and it's got a dial size of just under 30 millimeters and all these numbers they actually put together a very small package a very compact watch and I would say even ladies can consider looking at this model. The star of the show though is undoubtedly the grey dial or anthracite dial version. Just take a look here. It looks absolutely fantastic under the studio lights. All right? So next to the black one, it really steals the show. It's not a very expensive watch, but I really think this dial color here is uh, punching way above its weight class. And even on close-up macro shots, you can see that you know the Seiko 5 logo and the Shield logo, they are nicely applied and you wouldn't expect this to come from a very cheap watch. At the time of this video, the SNK 623 and 621 models, they are going for Singapore dollars 138 at our boutique. So, you know, smile to Eric, have a nice chat with him. Maybe you'll get a good discount. So I'm just going to show you 
the anthracite dial version the 621 exclusively from now onwards because i think it's such a good looking dial <laughs> all right i think if they put this dial on a more expensive watch i think it wouldn't look out of place other points to note for this watch includes the movement use the movement here is 7s26 so it is non-hacking non-hand winding and this watch also has a very very a low water resistance i think it's only rated to 30 meters water resistance case construction is pretty basic it's got a fully polished stainless steel case every visible surface of the watch is polished <laughs> the surfaces that are not seen they are untouched <laughs> they are unfinished all right so uh, take a look at the luck ends here they are unfinished they are very rough uh, of course i'm not going to remove this protective layers here because this is a loan set but you get the idea right the workmanship here is of course uh, not the best this is a Seiko 5 and I would say this is an ultra affordable watch so don't expect Saratsu polishing or anything like that and this integrated bracelet here I would say is a headache for uh, fans because you can't use or you can't put it on any aftermarket straps and I want to highlight to you that this is a folded link strap Right, this link here take a look these links here they are folded and this represents the lowest uh, quality of watch bracelets now I'm going to bring in my sea urchin for comparison uh, again the sea urchin is not a solid link bracelet but it is it has done a good job in trying to hide the fact that it is a, a hollow bracelet a hollow link bracelet All right so excuse please excuse the uh, fingerprints here but over here you can see on the SNK there is no effort <laughs> to disguise that this is a hollow or folded link bracelet. So the SNK Seiko 5s, they do have loom applied to the hands and the ends of the applied marker. So I'm going to switch off the lights and let you see how well the loom does in darkness. And here you go, with the light switched off, you can see that there is indeed some loom and it really works. So you can see very clearly that the hands and the ends, the matchstick heads of the baton markers, they really light up quite well. Of course, this is not diver standard loom, but I think it does pretty well for a dress watch. And here's a staged wrist shot of the watch. And at 37 millimeters, I would say it really fits my small wrist very well. Uh, I haven't resized the bracelet, of course, but you can see that due to the short luck to luck and the overall compactness of this watch, it wears very well and people with smaller wrists or even ladies like I mentioned earlier in this video I think you know you have no problems if you are looking at this watch so there you have it that was my very quick review of the Seiko 5 SNK 621 and 623 small budget little watches automatic water resistant it's even got loom on its end so if you're looking for a smaller watch you know even for ladies if you're looking for a watch something like this you may want to consider especially this gray dial anthracite sunburst dial version i think it really looks more expensive than what it really is overall not the best in terms of build quality it's still got that dodgy folded bracelet i don't know what to say of this and the clasp they all look very uh, cheap and, but that's what it is, it's an affordable watch. So, so if you are looking for something like this, you may want to consider these watches. Now this is the watch Kaki, and I'm going to sign off with George. We'll see you next week. Bye bye.